I like the loud keyboard, I don't know, sounds cool. I think when I bought my DOS keyboard, there wasn't a silent keyboard. Looking back on it today, I probably would have gotten one. Well, I guess because when I bought my first when I was married, I used to plug the fuck out of my wife when I would uh, type when she was trying to sleep. Then again, we lived in an apartment, so I don't know. I mean, a house would be different. But I kind of like bugging the fuck out of people. Actually, you know, actually, it wouldn't really make sense for me to get a quiet keyboard at all, because when I play games, I'm a pretty fucking loud and obnoxious person, so why would I get a, you know, like, super ch 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 like, hey, I can't hear him typing, hey, I can't hear him- OH FUCK, I GOT TWO RACKS! You know, like, it wouldn't really make much sense. I think Rachel's due in March, January, February, March, mid-March. Is it my baby? I hope it is. Well, I mean, not, well, I, not really, but I mean, it should be. <laughs> Does that make sense? Ah. Oh, Life is gonna end. You know, obviously, I'll have my little baby to take care of. It's actually one of the big uh, driving reasons why I wanted to do this StarCraft 2 thing full time, because then I could stay home and take care of my child instead of trusting it to some random fucking daycare people and then hear all the fucking horror stories about kids being like left in like dressers and shit and then suffocating. My excited dude, I'm gonna fucking, it's a boy, I'm really fucking happy. One, I have two things that I like to do, I've got like three things that I do in life that I enjoy doing very much. It's StarCraft 2, um, anything that has to do with music, uh, composition or performing, and fucking. And I can do at least two of those things with my child since it's a boy. So I'm gonna force him to take up some kind of instrument. We'll play beautiful music together, and then we'll take breaks and play StarCraft 2 together, and it'll be fucking awesome. Fucking awesome! I probably do sound like that kind of a person. Honestly, I'm, I'm very, um... I don't know. I can be pretty professional. What's going on here? How does he see that?! You fucking map-hacking piece of shit! Guys, there's um, one thing that I excel at that a lot of people don't understand, and it's unfortunate that most people don't understand this in the real world, is that there's a time for for foregate, which is all the time. Never mind. God damn it. I don't want to deal with this right now. It's fucking scrap station, bro. Why would you do this to me? It's Imba for Zerg, and you're going to fucking take it away from me so that I can fucking roll a Protoss that finally wants to play a macro game on fucking jungle fucking basin, you fucking asshole. Go break my back rocks. Give me some fucking time. What was I just talking about? Oh yeah, I can be professional. Let's go, bro! No, shit! Let's not!
That was a really bad decision on his part, because now he lost that proxy pile on me. And I don't think he has enough here to kill me. The strength of a 4 gate lies in the fact that 4 warp gates can reinforce super fucking fast. Um, but he lost his proxy pylon, so if you give the Zerg enough time on two bases, of course he's gonna be able to take out whatever army you've got in his base. And that's what he did there, he moved up, he abandoned his proxy, which means he sacrificed his ability to reinforce, and then he let me make units and roll them. Pretty neat, huh? So I'm actually ahead at this point. And he just force fields helped him off. So I could fuck with his frogs. That's funny. Yeah, no, he shouldn't have A-moved my ramp. He should have just reinforced, killed my spine crawler, and, and hung out down there. Moving up the ramp was a horrible decision. He would have won. It was it was his game. He totally won that. It was my totally my bad, but he made a mistake. Made a mistake.